Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and install a PHP 8.0 repository to Debian. Now, a lot of y'all probably have been searching uh, on how to get PHP 8.0 on Debian. Maybe you have a web server and you want to use one of the newer versions of PHP 8.0, and you ran into the same problem I did. If you on the rolling release distro version of Debian, then you will get PHP 8.1, which, you know, for a lot of web applications, there are compatibility issues. So you don't want to be stuck on 7.4 and you don't want to jump to 8.1. So what do you do? Well, deb.surrey.org, this guy right here is a developer and he runs this repository. And uh, you go to their homepage, which is deb.surrey.org. Uh, he'll give a quick breakdown of who he is. Uh, what does he do? So he's a Debian developer since year 2000. Uh, and he has been packaging PHP for Debian since PHP 5. And uh, what he's done is he has a specific repository for some PHP versions. And he's also supporting Ukraine. Uh, the Ukraine crisis on the other side of the world right now. So if you roll down, right here, you see the main rep uh, repositories now contain PHP 5.6, 7.0, 7.4, PHP 8.0, and here's the Ubuntu repository, and here's the Debian repository. So pretty much the homepage, just a, a breakdown. Uh, there's documentation, support, if you scroll down. But there's not really any instructions. Now if you search on how to install PHP 8.0, most of the guides will give you his repository links. And my bird is all over my mic right now. I think she's really jealous of me talking into it. Uh, I don't know if you could hear me a lot because it was pointed down a little bit, but I can justify it later. Anyway, she's going crazy. This is Peggy. Peggy. That's Peggy. Peggy can go over there for a second. She's attacking the microphone. Feeling she might be jumping back over here soon. Okay. So anyway. Where was I at? Ah. So anyway, as you can see, there's not really much info here. Uh, on how to install. So what I did was... I went ahead and uh, instead of using like an off source reference guide on how to get this repository installed, I wanted to use some of their official documentation. So they do tell you how to install it because you want to go to the source usually, you know, for for stuff like this and this would be the source. So if you go to their GitHub page right here and you go to their FAQ, they actually tell you how to install it right here for Debian. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is you can go ahead and follow my lead here. Just, uh, oops, except that's not Debian. You can f so what I'm going to go ahead and do is you can go ahead and follow my lead here. And go ahead and copy this line right here. And paste it into my Debian machine here that I SSH'd into. So pretty much it's getting the commands from the readme.txt file and piping it using sudo into bash. And then we're just going to go ahead and run sudo app update. Just confirm everything. sudo app upgrade. I got some packages I need to upgrade apparently. So let's just do those two. Now, if I search apt I like to use an aptitude for search just because it, it gets more. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. sudo app install aptitude. I like using aptitude for package searches. It uses less line spacing, so you can see a lot more packages when you're searching for them. Okay, so I went ahead and cleared that screen out for y'all on the terminal. That way, you'll have more visible space to search. Oh, and another thing is, 
I realize now that y'all can't see the bottom of that FAQ link, but you could search it anyway to get it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here, and turn off my camera. That way you can see the link. So I'll go, I'm going to go ahead and do sudo aptitude search PHP. And as you can see here, we got PHP 8.1, got PHP 8.0. 7 7.4, 7.3, 7.2, 7.1, 5.6. So as you can see, by going ahead and using the Surrey repository, we get a whole bunch of PHP selections now. So this should solve any of those guys' issues that are pretty much demanding to get off 7.4. Or maybe one of the older ones or you don't want to use 8.1 here you go this is how you solve the issue you use the Surrey package repository and it works great so anyway if y'all like the video it helped y'all out at all like and subscribe 